All right, I'm going to see if I can make this a quick video. This video is going to be talking about the phrase, the internet is the place where religions come to die. Now, some of you watching this probably have heard the phrase uh, espouse in several ways. So, I'm going to be talking about that phrase. I think it's an absolutely ridiculous phrase and a, a ridiculous statement. Uh, to start off, I'll just read a typical, I'll just read a comment I read recently um, that, that expressed this similar idea. It reads this. The internet is the place where religions come to die. Some fundies use the internet to plan terrorist attacks, and religious people use it to talk about the greatness of Jesus, Muhammad, etc. But unlike the secluded communities of religious idiots where no facts penetrate, the internet is full of information. The internet is full of information, is basically what he's saying. Religions strive on ignorance and dogma, which is why all of them are in decline in this information age where it, where it takes only one quick Google search to debug any claim made by any religion. Now, I'm not going to fo I'm not I'm going to ignore its claim that religions thrive on ignorance and dogma because I think that statement in of itself is a very broad and very oversimplified term, oversimplified phrase. Because what do you mean by dogma? And what do you mean by being ignorant? What do you mean by spreading ignorance? What kind of ignorance? Is belief in of itself ignorance? Anyway, that's that in of itself is a very broad topic. I'm not I'm not gonna focus on that in this video. I'm only I'm only gonna focus on the last part of the comment that says this. Which is why all of them are declining this information age where it only takes one quick Google search to debunk any claim made by made by any religion. Now the reason why I'll focus on that because I want to focus on that because that 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 kind of what I would call Google search mentality, and, I, and I went, I'm making that term up, but it, it's relevant to my point. It describes what I'm talking about. This Google search mentality where you think that you can just Google something and you get the right information. You get information that debunks any, quote unquote, any religion, any religion like that. But the problem is just Googling something does not mean that you get the information that's accurate, or it's reliable, or is trustworthy. Because Google itself is not, a, is not this end-all, be-all of information. Yeah, sure, uh, granted, obviously, Google is a very useful tool to look up quick references. I just want to look something up real quick, start doing research. But just Googling something does not mean that the information you are Googling is reliable. Because it relates to the, the whole point. The, in, this, in, in this age, in the 21st century, this is now 2012 as of uploading this video onto YouTube, it's at, we, we are in an information age where it's, it's become easier to access information. But there's, a down, there's an upside and a downside to having this fast, easy, excessive access information. The positive side is it makes it way easier to not only connect with other people, not just in your own communities, but in communities all over the world. It, the downside, however, is that it becomes harder to access information that is reliable because there's so much in information. Because it's so user friendly, anybody can post anything on the internet and just claim it as fact. You know, this is why a lot, a lot, a lot of colleges and universities and even high schools, to a certain extent, if I remember correctly, are requiring students to understand how to differentiate like different forms of information. This is where we come in to understand the basis of rhetoric, which includes rhetorical analysis, which includes understanding effective communication. Because information itself is a form of communication. Because information itself is a communication of ideas, of, of, of information. You are, you, are, does, you are communicating ideas to people who need to know what this information is about and how is it relevant. Is it, is it factual? Is it... Is it um, relevant to their life? Is it relevant to society? Is it relevant to understanding the world around us? 
that is what we mean by information is this access to ideas that uh, that may or may not affect us directly but the thing is though back to the phrase about where, where religions where the, the internet is a place where religions come to die this is not a accurate phrase because just googling something on the internet is not a reflection of whether or not that information is accurate because I can google evilbible.com or um, God, godhealamputees.com whatever you want to call it it does not follow that those informate those websites are going to provide accurate information about religious thought because religious thought regardless of what some of these quote unquote funny atheists are going to tell you they are the the religious thought is very is it is more most sophisticated form is is a complicated nuanced stream of thought regarding our understanding of the world now you now some of you may reject those claims of reality but that's beside the point the point is that you can't just simply google something on the internet and then expect that information to be reliable especially if you're not trained or don't know how to understand and analyze this very same information you are accessing from the internet this is one of the reasons why i support the university system because the university system does teach you as the best way they can how to understand rhetorical analysis how to understand um, different different aspects of information because if you are you are you are you are participating in a role of evaluating information you are understanding the importance of communication communication of ideas and and understanding different aspects of information is going to make it easier for you to analyze whether or not certain certain if certain aspects certain parts of information different different forms of information regarding religion politics whatever you want to call it any core of topic anything you want to discuss you can access on the internet but the internet in of itself will not teach you how to analyze and differentiate between good information and bad information and be because think of it this way if we if if all just because something is on the internet it does not mean that it is true and that's obvious but uh, but i can re, re, i can rephrase that and say that just because we have a wealth access of information with with the internet it does not mean that all information is equal for example does it really makes sense to put the film loose change or zeitgeist on the same level as the 9-11 commission report or or the topic related to religion which is where the phrase that was thought I talked about earlier in the video came from like would you really put the film zeitgeist the same quality level of information as say a Bart Ehrman book now whether or not you agree with Bart Ehrman that's that's beside the point if you compare the information can you really say with a straight face that a, a zeitgeist is on the same quality level of information as, say, a Bart Ehrman book? Can you really say that with a straight face? And in conclusion, I'm going to end this video now. In conclusion, just because you can Google information, you, can, you have a wealth access information. That information itself is meaningless and useless unless you know how to analyze and do rhetorical analysis of the information that you have access to. And that and that and for that reason alone, that is why I find the phrase, the internet is a place where religion comes to die, as an absolutely absurd statement. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for watching.